Did you know you can grow food in your home year round? And it's not even that difficult. In 90 days or less, you could be all set up growing fresh produce in your home. In this video, I'll take a few minutes, show you all the steps that you need to take to get to that point. First, you need to pick the kind of plants you wanna grow. Leafy greens and herbs, they work great indoors, but you can grow just about anything indoors. Taller plants are a little bit harder just due to space, but there are ways to grow those as well. Once you know what you wanna grow, then you need to choose a location. A location with a fairly consistent temperature is ideal for growing plants indoors. So a basement works really well, um, an extra bedroom or even a garage could work well. The next step is to build your hydroponic system. Hydroponics is the key to being able to grow a lot of produce in a small space indoors without using any dirt. Choose a hydroponic system that's really productive, that uses the space well, and is low maintenance. I like to use hydroponic rail systems. I think they, they check all those boxes, they work really well. I have a free guide on my website of how to build a hydroponic rail system just like what I use. And it's worked for me and it's worked for a lot of other people. Once you have your hydroponic system built, you need to choose a light source. So growing indoors, you're going to generally need artificial lighting unless you had a really bright window with a lot of sunlight. Thankfully, LED technology has made huge advancements in the past few years. So there's a lot of great grow light options that aren't very expensive to purchase or expensive to run as far as electricity is concerned. So choose a good lighting option. I have a list on my website of some ones that I've used that I would recommend so you can check that out. Once you have your hydroponic system picked out and your light source picked out, then you need a support structure. The support structure is just going to hold your hydroponic system and then suspend the light over the top so that the plants can grow. This could be as simple as a table with a light hanging from the ceiling, or you can use a wire shelving rack. I like to use those because those allow you to stack systems and get multiple systems in the same floor space. Then you're ready to start growing. You'll plant seeds, add them to your system, then add some nutrients to the water in your hydroponic system, and then just keep, keep the nutrients and the pH maintained, which can be pretty straightforward once you get in the rhythm of it. It's not, not as intimidating as it might sound. And then you just watch your plants grow. And last comes the fun part, harvesting. Since you're no longer dependent on seasons or weather, you can have fresh produce ready anytime. With limited pests, your produce can be larger and tastier than anything you've ever grown. And you're immune from recalls or produce shortages. You can do this. Check out our website for a free guide on how to build a hydroponic system as well as lots of free info on how to get one, get a system set up and keep things running. We've helped a lot of people go from an empty spot in their house to a productive mini farm.